Hello there! Welcome back to another note-taking related app review. Today we're going to go over Neurocash, which is a stunning app that has recently caught my eye. If you're new to my channel, I'm Ren, a university student and note-taking enthusiast. Check out some of my other videos and you'll immediately find that I'm a huge advocate for two great study techniques, space repetition and active recall. You'll also realize that I'm obsessed with RemNote, a really great note-taking app that allows integrated space repetition and active recall straight into your note page. But you'll also find that I'm a huge fan of Obsidian, Rome Research, Notion, and many other apps. Within these apps, it's definitely possible to incorporate space repetition and active recall, but it's very difficult to do so, and you must manually set up your own system. So here's where Neurocache comes into play. If you head onto the Neurocache website, neurocache.com, you'll find that it uses space repetition flashcards, similar to the ones you'll find on RemNote, and gives you a chance to resurface books, tweets, or anything you want to remember. The app is advertised as, quote, learning with superpowers. The developers made sure to let users know that your notes are absolutely secure, private, 100% offline, and my favorite part, there's no sign up required. Basically, everything is stored locally on your phone and there's no need to worry about any information being leaked to them or about anything being stolen or deleted. Especially for those of you who are worried about RenNote having access to your notes, Neurocache might be a good alternative for you to look into. The power of space repetition and active recall are unmatched by any other study techniques out there, so they're definitely the way to go. I'll go into a little bit more about pricing and everything a little bit later, but just for now, all you need to know is that you can access this app for free. All right, let's take a dive into how Neurocache has some pretty attractive superpowers. Neurocache is pretty much a way to turn any of your notes, whether they're on a third-party app like Rome or Obsidian or Notion, or just a plain markdown or text file, and transform those into flashcards with built-in space repetition that you can access on your own phone. Out of all the apps I've reviewed, this is the first one that is purely advertised as a mobile app. You're able to download this app on the Apple App Store as well as the Google Play Store. One thing I want to say right off the bat is that Neurocache has built-in light mode and dark mode, and since my phone is currently on dark mode, it'll appear as that, but you can change that on your own. I'm going to start off by giving you a little walkthrough of the app setup. Once you download the app and open it up, you'll see that there's three simple tabs to open at the bottom of your device. The first one, starting from the left-hand side, is Home, with the little Neurocache logo. Here, you'll find your queue for each day and how much information you have remembered with percentages and a little pie chart at the top of your screen. On the top right hand corner of this page, you'll find the settings tab where you're able to navigate to the updates page on the website by tapping what's new, switching to the premium plan, which I'll mention a little bit later, and change some of your space repetition flashcard settings. You can also do this in a different location, which I'll mention a little bit later as well. Unlike RemNote, here you're able to select your own space repetition algorithm and decide how spread apart you want to be tested. You'll also find a section here with social media platforms and a support and feedback section with their email, along with the boring privacy policy information and terms of service. In the next tab, we have study with the little graduation cap logo. In this tab, you'll find a schedule of when you last reviewed your notes, including today as well. In the top right corner of this page, you'll find an option to filter your highlights, notes, and flashcards, and pretty much anything you import into Neurocache. You can also use the sliders at the bottom to adjust what score you use as a cutoff to review information again and play around with those a little bit. Last but not least, we have the Notes tab with the little note logo on it. If you open up this page, it'll give you a little note about what apps Neurocache is compatible with, and then two buttons. The first is to sync your notes, and if you press that, it'll take you to the top right-hand corner, and the second one is a how to use section, which navigates you to a web page of some pre-made tutorials. I would highly suggest checking some of those out first, and if you guys need some more help and would like me to make some extra tutorials, please do let me know in the comments below. Now going on to the top right hand corner of this page, starting from the far right with the three dots, you'll have some options that pop up to allow you to add a new simple note, which is basically just a note that'll be on your phone only with no integration with other apps, 
And then there's also options to start and stop spaced repetition. And once again, an option to change your spaced repetition algorithm, which was also found in the settings tab on the home page too. Now, if we move to the left, you'll find the little download logo. And if you click on it, it'll show you once again how to use the site and options to connect to Twitter and remember your liked tweets. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll be given options to sync and connect to Evernote, which I personally don't use very often, so we'll be skipping that for this video, but let me know if you'd like for me to come back to it. If we move down even more, you'll see options to import from Rome Research, one of my personal apps of choice, and also markdown files, which would allow me to connect Obsidian or any other markdown app, and then you also have OneNote, which I also do use. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll find a section to import your Kindle highlights, which is actually pretty neat as well. The last section is for clearing your Neurocache data. All right, so let's take a look at how to get started with this app. First, obviously, we have to find something to sync our notes with. Today, I'll take you through Rome. Obsidian and OneNote are the two other apps I do use that are compatible with Neurocache, but those two will be quite easy for you to master after you watch me go through the process on Rome. With Obsidian, go ahead and download your markdown file, transfer it onto your phone, and import it directly. With OneNote, go ahead and just log into your account, and then your notes will sync automatically. Simple enough, but let me know if you'd like any other tutorials. First, with Rome, let's go ahead and open up Rome Research on our phone. Here, I'll open up a new page, and you can really just do this with any page you're opening at all, and go ahead and type a question I want to have on my flashcard. Then, underneath that, in a nested bullet, I'm going to type the answer. Now, in order for Neurocache to pick this up as a flashcard, all I need to do is go back up to the question and type hashtag spaced. If, for whatever reason, you're already using the tag spaced for a different purpose, go ahead and just go into the Neurocache app and get that changed. I'm going to give you three examples of these cards. Now, go ahead and export the entire file on Rome by pressing the three little dots in the upper right-hand corner of your page. Next, go ahead and click Export All, and then pick JSON as your file type. It's going to download the file onto your phone. Now, once it's saved onto your phone, go ahead and move into the Neurocache app. Click the Sync Notes button at the top right-hand corner, and scroll down to the Rome section. Here, I'll just select Import JSON File, and then Import again. It'll take me into the iPhone Files app, and I'm sure this works similarly on Android as well, and then I can go ahead and select the file. Then it'll indicate that I have three new flashcards to review, and then I can go ahead and click hashtag spaced. On here, I'll be able to see all of my notes, and it'll give you a little reminder in the bottom right-hand corner as well to indicate how well you understand each topic. You can drag it all the way to the right to say that you completely understand it, or if you had trouble remembering it, you could slide it back as well. So if you go onto the home page and you click the Q button, it'll allow you to read a little bit about why Active Recall works, and then it'll bring you onto your flashcard. So here you can find the two cards that I haven't reviewed, and here you can also drag the little bar at the bottom of the screen to determine how well you remembered the information. Once you're done with both cues, you can find the percentage of how well you remembered the information. Then today's cue will show that there's no cards left for you to study, but you can still access them by going into the notes section and then finding all of your cards there. Here, you're able to just adjust how much you actually remembered the information. Something else that's really fun is that you're able to generate a wallpaper for a specific flashcard by pressing the generate wallpaper button. Here, it'll save a wallpaper for you and you're allowed to save that into your photos, which is actually pretty neat. By going into the study mode, you're able to see how much you studied each topic. So if I go into the all section, you're able to see that I was able to study three different flashcards today, one of which I didn't remember very well, and the other two which I did remember well. You can spend some time exploring the app on your own as there's so many different things to look at. So let's move on to what a lot of you are probably wondering about, which is Neurocache's pricing. 
So there's actually two different types of NeuroCache plans, and I'm very happy to announce that the first plan is absolutely free. So with this free version of the plan, you're able to get everything that I just showed you as I haven't paid anything to access what I have recorded. You're able to sync with Evernote, OneNote, Rome Research, Twitter, Markdown, and your Kindle, and you have an unlimited sync of notes, which is pretty great, with unlimited space repetition built in. You are also able to access all of the space repetition algorithms like I showed you a little bit earlier with the static and adaptive types of space repetition. Just to give you a little bit of explanation on that, SM2, which is the space repetition system you're probably most used to, is an adaptive system, which means it's based on how much you actually remember the information. So by adjusting that little scale you had on your screen, you're able to actually define when you're able to see the content again. With a static system, you're able to determine whether you see it again in one day, two days, three days, or four days. You're also able to have access to recall questions, image support, highlight support, and you're able to also make wallpapers from notes like I showed you a little bit earlier. You're also able to see the chart from your study tab from the last seven days, and you're able to see your today's cue button on your home screen along with notifications that come with the app. So now with the premium plan, they're offering the plan for only $1.99 per month, which is actually a really cheap deal. So let's take a look into what features it offers. I'm actually a little bit confused about what it's talking about, but we can discuss that in the comments and I'll give more input as I'm discovering more as well. So the first thing is two and four button interface during the review. You'll have more options as to how you're actually reviewing your notes. The second one is the study tab which is kind of confusing to me because we're shown the study tab already, so I'm not sure if there's actually features within that that we haven't discovered yet, but if I find out more information, I'll definitely let you guys know. The third feature is priming, which is on Android only, but it says wallpapers from notes on autopilot, so I'm assuming that it just creates wallpapers for you automatically, which is pretty sweet. And the fourth feature they say is that it supports their development, which I completely agree with, and I'm really grateful that they've created this app. So it's definitely great to look into this premium plan, even just for the purpose of supporting the developers a little bit and giving them a little more financial support for all of the hard work they've put into the app. A great thing about this is that you're getting a 30 day free trial, which is pretty neat. So I guess you could try it out if you're looking for a few of those new features. Another thing I want to mention that I always mention in all of my reviews is the aesthetic appeal of the app. And I've got to say that I'm completely satisfied with NeuroCache's aesthetics. The app is absolutely beautiful and I have no complaints at all about how they've presented themselves. So just giving some of my final thoughts on this app, I think it's truly a great experience. The only thing I would say is that it's a bit of a hassle to actually go through your notes and import everything manually. If there was a better system that allowed for more integration into Rome, Obsidian as well, and some other apps such as Notion, which I know NeuroCache is actually working on at the moment, I think a seamless experience would truly help me fall in love with this app even more, but at the moment, I'm completely satisfied with what they've done, and I do suggest you all to look into it and try it out for yourself, because through my experience of using this app so far, it's been pretty amazing. If you're out and about with your phone, and most of your notes are on Rome Research, or they were on Obsidian, and you've imported them into your NeuroCache, it's actually pretty simple to sync your notes and while you're out and about to just review them on the go. And this is a great way for you to multitask and retain knowledge while you're at it. And especially for students, I think that this could be really helpful. So I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this app. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have the chance and I'll see you all very soon.